welcome back to another video and today I have a pretty interesting GFX video for you guys. So as you can see I'm kind of doing a different style today. I'm not using a rig or anything like that. Um, today I actually decided I wanted to try and make like a realism GFX, like something that looks really really real instead of the more aesthetic scene GFX that I usually do. So that is what I am trying to do today. Um, this is a completely different style for me, but I actually really like how it turned out. So be sure to stay tuned till the end for the final product. But right now what I am trying to do is pretty much my scene idea is I wanted to have a Roblox character kind of, I guess, laying um, on the ground with real life stuff around him so it kind of looked like a toy in a way so that's kind of what I was going for so right now I am trying to give the Roblox character some realistic textures um, and kind of bumps and things so I tried to give him some scratches and kind of like mistakes I don't know what they would be called um, the best word I can think of is kind of like mistakes so he's not like completely perfect looking, you know, kind of like dense and things. Um, imperfections is a better word. <laughs> uh, I couldn't think of the right word. Um, and I also wanted it to be like a rainy sort of street, so I also added in some raindrops on him as well. Um, and actually this GFX, I don't know, like normally GFX only take me a little while, maybe um, how long? Maybe like a couple hours to do um, normally, but with this GFX, it took me hours and hours and hours. I did this over the course of three days just because it took so much and especially because it lagged my blender like crazy because of how like high intensity the graphics were. Um, right now, I am adding in the pavement and let me tell you, this was one of the laggiest parts of this whole GFX. The pavement that I made was super laggy, but it was super worth it in the end. If you stay tuned till the final product, it looks super good. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Right now I am making the pavement and I am actually using an online tutorial for this. I used online tutorials for pretty much everything I made in this GFX, like the pavement and just everything. Um, I also, added in some extra nodes on the pavement to make it look wet. So I kind of added in some puddles as well so it looks like it kind of like just rained maybe recently. So there's some puddles on the ground and then the Roblox character toy has like raindrops, little wet rain droplets I guess. Is droplets the right word? Little rain droplets on the character just to make it look a little bit more realistic. It also helped with a little bit of like reflection so the scene didn't look so flat, which was really helpful. But actually this pavement was super hard to make. Um, I tried really hard. I think it looks good in the end, but it did not look the same as the tutorial, which was really confusing because I was wondering why, <laughs> why it didn't look the same. I'm not used to following tutorials. Um, I'm kind of more used to making them, <laughs> so when I follow them and they don't work, I get really confused because I'm like, well, I followed all the steps correctly, I did everything right as far as I'm aware, and I'm not sure why this is not working. So, you know, let's have a little bit of trial and error, but thankfully I got a product that I was happy with. Right now I am working on the grate and I wanted to make it like on the side of the road so instead of it just being pavement, you know, um, it would actually be on the side of the road kind of for a little bit of variety so instead of just like seeing pavement in the street and that's it. There's going to be a grate and a little piece of sort of like sidewalk that's on the side of the road just to give that little bit of variety that you can look at instead of just flat pavement, you know, make it a little bit more interesting. Um, I was actually having a lot of trouble with these textures. I used PBR textures for the grate and I just couldn't get them to line up correctly. I know there's a proper way to do this, but just I'm not the best at it. So the best I could do pretty much I um, 
so you know when you have a PBR texture and it's kind of on a, a like rectangle like I have where it's like long on one side and short on the other yeah and then your PBR texture looks great on one side and all stretched out on the other or really small you know that you know like what I'm talking about well I had that happening a lot with this so I had to try different ways of like rotating it and stuff to make it look right like I said I'm sure there's like a perfect way to do this but unfortunately this is the best way I could come up with especially in a time crunch because I wanted to have this video out today so that is what I ended up going for <laughs> I also tried to add lines in the road but I couldn't figure out how in the world to get them transparent and I mean I tried like so many different things um, I kept googling it, trying to figure out like what I'm supposed to do to make it transparent. I tried different solutions and none of them worked. So eventually we ended up not adding lines in the road, which I think looked better in the end actually. Um, in the reflection on the NG effects, it looks like there's a line on the side of the road. Not really sure how that appeared, how that got there, but I think it looked pretty good so we just went with it. And now I am adding in the sidewalk. It's not really like sidewalk, but it's part of the sidewalk. Like the thing you see on the side of the road where the sidewalk kind of goes down into the street. Um, it's like the gutter area. That's kind of what I was going for. Again, just for a little bit of variety for the eyes. So, you know, you don't have to look at the same thing over and over and over. And now I think I am adding in an HDRI, just getting ready to render, um, testing out different lighting and stuff. I actually ended up really liking the first HDRI I picked, so that is the one we went with. And I added in the concrete again because trust me, this concrete was so laggy. Um, I never really lag on Blender, um, I just never really have lag issues, but let me tell you, this concrete lagged me so bad like I couldn't even move in blender you know in the viewport when you hit like shift and F on 2.79 or the I believe it's the tilde key like where you use shift and another key to move your view around well that wasn't working for me that's how laggy this concrete was so here is the render it's so nice to see it rendering fast now I actually rendered this last night and it took about three hours which I am not used to, again, realism GFX, because with my fashion scene aesthetic GFX, they only take like three minutes to render. So this was definitely out of my comfort zone for sure. But it's nice to see it rendering fast now. <laughs> and it looks super good. I'm actually really proud of it. Now for Photoshop, and I'm just doing a little bit of light editing, filling in a spot that I forgot to fill in during the render and also adding in some darkness along the edges. Kind of like, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Is it a vignette or something like that? Yeah, I always like to do those. So I added in some of that around the edges. Um, but pretty much that is it for editing. I also added like a color correction. I'm not sure what it's called. A color correction, color lookup, I think it's called on Photoshop that um, my friend introduced me to. I love those so much. They add really nice effects. So. I really like how they look. And finally adding my watermark because like I always say, my friends always have me add my watermark. And that is pretty much it for the GFX. So here is the finished product. I hope you guys like it. I know it's kind of a different style for me, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and let me know down in the comments if you wanna see more realism, realistic types of GFX because it was super fun to make. Um, I also recommend that you guys try out this style sometime. Maybe I could try and do a tutorial, though I'm not a pro at it. I've only done one of them. But really just looking up different realistic blender materials is a great way to start trying to make something look super realistic. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss any future notifications from my channel. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.